So we're looking at iOS 26, right? It's been about almost two weeks now, and we're trying to figure out when is the next beta going to be coming out. Now, it is really interesting because Apple sometimes will go long times without releasing betas or updates, or they could go pretty fast and release some pretty big updates pretty fast. It really just depends. Now, by the time I make this video and upload it, it might already be iOS 26 beta 2 is already out. So there's not really much I can do in that standpoint. But the thing I will definitely tell you about iOS 26 in general is that it needs a lot of work. There is a lot of work that needs to be done within this update. And before Apple goes through and releases this thing officially, Apple needs to drop like 12 betas for them to iteratively fix every single issue that's inside iOS 26. I think the problem that they had with iOS 18 and just iOS in general is that right now, they're not really releasing too many betas. They're not really releasing too many updates. And that causes, I would say, a lot of problems for a lot of these devices because what we're going to end up getting is basically just these software updates that bring a lot of stuff to the table, but then they don't really end up fixing these types of problems. So we just end up getting stuck with these types of you know software updates that haven't really gotten improved. You know, they have lots of features, but they're just all buggy because there just wasn't that much testing. iOS 18, Apple really tried to get Apple Intelligence stuff to work. Unfortunately, it didn't work the way we wanted it to work. So that's kind of the issue that we ran into there. But then going is taking a step back, the problem that we're running into now is that Apple is just not really going through and you know uploading too many updates. So now we're stuck in this even more weird situation where Apple needs to go through and publish more updates, but they're just not doing it. So iOS 26 can be one of those situations where Apple goes through, starts giving us more updates, starts giving us more changes. And I think that is going to be one of the bigger things Apple kind of needs to start doing. So we're going to end up you know, seeing what ends up happening very soon, we'll just have to kind of wait and look. But for the most part, I think that's kind of where we're at for the most part as of this point. So we're going to have to wait and see, but that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.